since the previous video I have soldered all the headers for the TMC 2208 and I also soldered all the JST connectors for the stepper motors soldered all the JST connectors for the switches I soldered the terminal for the 5 volts and I also soldered the header pins on the IOs and on the RX and TX of the second UART or no, it's actually the third UART, UART 2, which is GPIO 16 and GPIO 17. Now I discovered another, well it's not a mistake, but it's an oversight. I should have also broken out ground on both of them. Because chances are when you use one of these IOs you also need ground or 3.3 volts. So I'm just going to break these out. And over here on the UART... You also need ground, so that is a bit of an oversight, but that's a quick fix. For now, I haven't put in any pull-up or pull-down resistors, and that is because I don't have the three-pin female connectors for the JSTs, so I can't do anything with the limit switches yet. But what I can do is populate all the TMC 2208s and set all their voltage references. Now, the TMC 2208 determines the current through the stepper motor windings by a voltage reference and this voltage is set by a potentiometer which you should measure and set to the correct voltage to get the correct current. So here's the TMC2208 version 2 and here's the potentiometer I was talking about but we need to flip it over and we need to have a look at these two resistors. Because these two resistors go to a pin on the TMC2208 and determine the current. So these resistors are R110 and the other one is also R110 and that is 110 milliohms. So note that down because we need that later. To set the voltage there is a formula in the data sheet which we are going to use which says that the RMS current through the windings is 325 millivolts divided by the resistance of our sense resistor in milliohms plus 20 times 1 over the square root of 2 times the voltage reference divided by 2.5. Now besides the sense resistor we also need another parameter and that is the current that we want through the windings. And the motor that I'm using is from my old 3D printer. And looking at the data sheet, this is a max current of 1 amp per phase. Now, I'm not going to drive these at 1 amp. I'm going to start with half of that. And if it's not enough, I can raise the current. And if it gets too hot, I can lower the current. Now, filling in these values gives us 0 0.5 equals 325 divided by 130 multiplied by 1 over the square root of 2, multiplied by our voltage reference, divided by 2.5. Now what we could do is simplify this formula, because 325 divided by 130 is 2.5. 1 over the square root of 2, we can also calculate that, and VREF divided by 2.5, well, we also multiply by 2.5, so those two cancel out. Now we could isolate our voltage reference by dividing both sides by 1 over the square root of 2 and then we get 0 0.5 divided by 1 over the square root of 2 is our voltage reference. But I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use MathWay to cheat. I just fill in our formula and solve for x and then we get our voltage reference about 707 millivolts. Simple. Now to set the voltage reference you have to measure the voltage on this little pin over here or it's actually not a pin it's more like a, this hole and ground. So I've ground here uh, I've ground in a lot of places but I need three hands because I need to measure and turn the pot so what I'm going to do is put my one of my probes in here so that will sit there then I have one hand for the other probe and one hand for a tiny little screwdriver now what is really important is that the 12 volts is plugged in and also that the stepper motor is not this is set to the 
2000 millivolt range and let's measure this pin and it's at 1.31 volts so that is too much so I need to turn the pot clockwise until it reaches 707 millivolts really difficult to do this on camera but here goes turning it slowly a bit more oh too much well 709 that is close enough now I need to do that for all the stepper motors and also mount all the heat sinks the last two motors stepper 4 and stepper 5 these are different because I'm using different stepper motors these stepper motors have a current per phase of 400 milliamps so I have to set the VREF according to the datasheet of these motors but in this test which I'm about to do I don't need the focus nor the zoom motor so I'm just going to preset them uh, but not use them today now that's all those done now I have to make some room on my desk to put up the camera slider and hook it up so I'll be right back alright I had to move back quite a bit because it's larger than I remember but it's up there now again this is the pan and tilt mount by Isaac 879 I've mounted my three stepper motors that came from my Creality on various places this is the pan motor this is the tilt motor and over there is the slide motor and I mounted it on the z-axis of the 3d printer so that it can move left and right it can pan and it can tilt these two are for the pan and the tilt where the longer one is for the tilt and the shorter one is for the pan over there there's my stepper driver and it goes one two three four five so that means I'm going to put slide on one pan on two and tilt on three so let me hook those up and what I'm also going to do is mount my camera so that it balances out nicely alright that's on there now the code I have uploaded is pretty simple it moves the stepper motor to a certain position relative to well where it is now and then moves back that's all it's doing and it's just a quick test to see if everything works as expected so let's turn it on and see what happens and there it goes it moves to one position and then moves back to the original position and it just repeats that forever now I haven't written any real software for this so there's no real way for me to control it other than actually uploading a piece of code to it but I bet you wonder how it looks through the camera itself so what I'm going to do I'm gonna point it outside my window which is to the right view and hit record and see what we get so this is the setup let's press record and turn on the slider now I haven't set the acceleration and which is also the deacceleration properly so there might be some jerkiness when it transitions from one move to another but overall I think this is pretty smooth
thank you so much for watching the well it's the fifth video already in this series I am going to start writing some software now to see how I can control this camera jig I'd like to control it using serial and also like to control it using a joystick so that's one of the next things that's gonna happen it might take a while but I'm getting there 